Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm really sorry, but we will not be having a challenge this month as, you know, a lot's going on. April Fools! I hope that's okay. April Fools, we do have a challenge, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be amazing, and guess what? You get to use everything in your stash. You get to use everything in your house, anything in your house, and anything in your yard. You can go shopping if you want to and use your new stuff. Um, this is our ABCs um, of April Junk Journal Challenge 2024. Uh, so we're talking A, art supplies, B, books, C, crafty tools, S, it's a stash buster 2024. Okay, so again, you get to use everything, anything that you have in your stash, and you can even buy new. Um, we're going to use the hashtag AABCSJJC24, so April ABC's Junk Journal Challenge 24, AABCSJJC24. The deadline will be 4-30-2024, so the last day of April. You actually have until I get up the next day. Um, I do get up really early on a Monday or on a Tuesday, on a Monday or whatever it's going to be, <laughs> but I get up early. So, um, but you have until then, till I get up to finish your journal, post it. And, um, then yeah, so there are, there's a prize if you do that. So for everybody that finishes this month, we are making our ABC list of elements and adding them all to a journal base that we either make or we already have because we didn't finish it. Okay. I did. I'm, this is, this is going to be finished, but as I'm making this video, so I have it for the sneak peek for the Patreons, um, I have not finished my March challenge. Um, you want to have an, a blank cover, though, okay? Because one of the things that we're making, it's going to go, um, it's going to be part of your cover and it will be your closure. So you um, don't need a closure, but if you have one on this, that's okay. Um, you'll, you're going to have a double one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so you can use a journal that you have that you started that you didn't finish and you're going to be making the ABCs that we're going to be talking about in just a minute. Okay. Your journal is to be five by seven or larger. Okay. So five by seven or larger and you are to have 60 or more pages. When you're counting your pages, the way you count, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and so on. Okay, this is the binding of your book. So let's go ahead, I'll show you. So, and you get to count your inside first page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So counting like that. Okay. So you need 60 or more pages. Um, you need to use two or more Dear Julie Julie kits. And if you're using the freebies, they count as one kit. So you can use a whole bunch of freebies and it counts as one kit. You need to have one other Dear Julie Julie kit. Um, so these are two of the newest kits. This is Butterfly Garden. Okay. And it's really kind of cool because there's your garden, there's your flowers, and then there's your butterflies, okay? So you've got to attract your butterflies to your garden. And so that's Butterfly Garden. It's got pages, it's got tags, it's got um, ephemera. Remember, in my kits, I go with the rectangle boxes and squares and things like that. We use them for a variety of things. We use them for cards, journaling cards, um, the large tags. We can use these as pages. We can actually make a um, traveler's notebook size journal out of the large tags. So they are amazing. Postcard size. We do a wallet. 
this is what we call a six pack and so if you hang out around here you're gonna find out what all those are <laughs> and they're a lot of fun this is the butterfly field notes and this time you've got three sizes or four sizes of butterflies and um, this one isn't gonna I'm gonna have to go huh. it's not all nice and ready okay there we go okay so this one is field notes it's got places for your specimens of your uh butterflies and it is really cool also brought in those sunflowers like we used the other day in the freebie and so yeah so again you have the tags the postcards the wallet the six pack the minis the tinies and the side-by-side -side pages and then you also have a mini journal kit that is made um, from the double the the pages okay so you have a mini journal kit and these are done so that you can make a zine out of them as well okay so these are my two of my kits that i'm going to be using in april all digitals all dare julie julie digitals are on sale in the etsy shop through friday if you are a patreon your coupon code will be in the patreon you also need to Use a Dear Julie Julie digital image somewhere on all of your ABC um, items that you're making. Okay, so all of your ABC items that we're going to be talking about in just a minute, you need to, um, to use an image. So that's where a lot of the times these little images, maybe your butterflies are going to come in and you will be, that will count. Okay. And, um, you must use 10 pages from the digitals in your journal. Now, if you go ahead and you use a page, that counts as one. If you print this page on the back of that page, that, that counts as two. If you go ahead and you come up here and you decide you're going to use a set of, um, of tags and you use all three tags, then that is that counts as a page. And again, you can use these as tags or you can use it as a page. If you decide to use two of these, this and this, as a page, you still need to use this one somewhere in the journal for it to count. And same with the postcards, okay? And the postcards are done so usually so that you can flip those up and make those a pocket in your journal. So yeah, so that's using your 10 pages of your two digital kits um, and also this journal that you're making, it's yours. It is yours to keep. Do not send it to me. <laughs> you may keep it and you may use it, sell it, give it away, um, whatever it is you want to do with your journal, but you do not need to send it to me. Okay, so let's get to what we're making and what this makes this a challenge. So I do have my list here. Okay. So it's an ABC list. So we have A to Z. Now the really cool thing is this time is you just make whatever it says on this list. You make it, you add the three embellishments or enhancements to it, and you're done. Okay? You don't it's they don't say page or book uh, pocket with insert. Okay? So you can use your inserts that you're making from here. To put in your pockets that you're making from here um, so let's go ahead anything with a butterfly is something new or it's something that I gave a name so you'll want to wait and see how I do those um, I will try and do those first I really like to do the ABC's in order but um, and I might be able to because I might be able to do that and do these or do these two on one day and do these two on one day um, so we'll see We'll see. Okay, so um, I will try and get those out first. There are several of them this month, um, but that's because we needed letters. So our first thing we're going to make is an accordion trifold paper. Then we're going to make book page pockets. We're going to make coin envelope policy closure. We're going to make um, new, a digital diagonal peekaboo tuck. 
um, envelope with kite fold and mystery. Now that we made last month. So you can go ahead and, and look up what we made last month and have that made. We're making a flip flop folio insert. We're making a gatefold pocket folio. Both of those are new. Hidden journaling card. If you don't know what that is, you can go ahead and search on YouTube, Dear Julie Julie, hidden journaling card, and one should at least one video should pop up for you. We're going to make brand new an invitation enclosure. We're making junk mail flap up with window page. Um, so that's uh, the mail envelope, but it, you're going to use one from your junk mail. And the flap is up and it folds and it gives you a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, but it needs to be one that has a window in it. So one of the one of the pages, um, one of the pockets is going to have a window. Um, let's see. Keeping place. So a keeping place is a pocket that closes. It can be an envelope. Um, it can be a fancy envelope. It can be just a large tag that you folded up and it flipped over. Okay, so something like like that. Okay, it's got a closure. It's actually it's it's got a place to put something, but it's got it it's closed. Okay. Um. New we have layered ripped slotted page pockets page. Okay, so we're going to be making that in your journal. Layered, ripped, salt, slotted pockets page. Because your journal can be finished. It can, I mean, it be finished. It can be already bound. Because you should be able to do something with all of these. But that one right there, we'll do it right on the page. Masterboard, 8 by 10 or larger. Um, and the layered rip one is new. This one's new. Notes with ripped book page edges. Over the page waterfall notes. This one's new. Pair of pockets on a panel. Quilted page of tags, eight by 10 or larger. So you're like your master board, but you're gonna do it and do it in a quilted style. So um, like the, the Franken, okay, so like we did this one with paper, but you can also do it with fabric. So depending on what you want to use from that huge stash of yours that you've got that you've been wanting to use. Round tag with pocket. Now, if you don't already have a round tag, you can make one and you can go ahead and and take like your tape and trace around it or the, the round of ribbon and trace around it and get your round and um, make a tag out of that. Next, uh, new stacked removable journal with ties closure so this is the this is what we're going to make it's going to have um, specific things that it needs to have and it's going to sit on top of your journal that's why your journal needs to be plain on top uh, this is new tall pocket tag from envelope this is new under over flip you're going to use the same image twice it's new <laughs> This one's new, vellum edge border tuck, wallet folio insert. If you are a VIP, I went over this in Wednesdays. I kind of gave you an idea of how you could make it. Um, but you can also search Dear Julie Julie wallet and a wallet folio should show up. Um, X-ray pocket and tag is new. Your favorite thing not already on the list. So you can make anything you want to that's not on your list. And a Zorro pocket. Okay. You can, uh, if you don't know what that is, you can uh, wait for me to make it. Or you can search uh, Dear Julie Julie Zorro pocket. Okay. So um, that is not too bad, right? You're making those items. You don't, um, you don't have to have a specific insert that's made for them at this time. You're just making the things. You're gonna have your base. So you'll have your, um, let's see, you'll have your pair of pockets on a panel. You'll have that, you'll have it made, and then you need to embellish it or enhance it with three things, okay? Your keeping place. So you'll have your little keeping place that you made, and then you need to embellish it or enhance it with three things. 
okay? And then um, the next part is we have some items that you need to add somewhere in your journal, okay? They can be added to um, your required elements. They can be added to pages. They can be added to anything. The only thing is, is if the name here, the word here is the same as the word in your required, then you can't use it on that required. So like quilted is in here, you can't use it on your as your quilted. Okay, you need to make another one. Okay, so these are the list. We're going to make something that's aged, something with bling, something collaged, something distressed, something embossed, something folded, something using a guest check or a receipt, something that's hinged, an index card or a three by five or larger card. Um, and, and then we'll come to our next page. We're going to use something that's jigsaw puzzle. We're going to use something that's clipped in. I used a K because I needed a K. <laughs> something lacy, something that's got messy string. You're going to use nail polish or glitter glue or a paste or something that's got glitter in it. You're going to use, do something on the edge. You're going to do something punched, something quilted, something ripped, something scrappy, something tied. Something under of flap, under the flap, under a flap. Under a flap. You're going to make something with Vendo window. So Vendo V, <laughs> I needed a V. Vendo window. A wiggle, an x-ray or a negative. You're going to use something yarn or trim. And you're going to use do something zigzag or sewn. Okay, so each of these needs to be represented somewhere in your journal. Um, don't worry, these lists are in the group that you're going to get access to here in just a minute. All pockets, tucks in your journal must be filled with an embellishment. So, um, and your embellishment needs to be, you know, needs to have something going on on it just one thing going on so um so if you had a note paper and you backed it that would be good enough if you have a note paper you ink it that's good enough so you're just gonna fill it with fill it with things make sure that it's full you can use your made items here to fill your made pockets and tucks also, okay? But in the end, everything, every pocket that you make, every tuck that you make, every border tuck that you make has to have something in it, okay? Um, we'll also be making a mini challenge in the challenge. That will be on um, April 8th. And so, um, the, and that is a required, required thing that we're gonna do, okay? Um, it's usually really fun. Okay. So the next really important thing is that you are going to be posting in this special Facebook group that you're going to have access to at the end of this video. Um, there's some typewriter, typewritten, typewriter, typewriter, their keyboard. Actually, we'll go ahead and find you a picture of one. Um, go to albums, go to favorites. There you go. So we have this right here. And so you'll find there's three posts that have the keyboard. One says post pic of your finished journal here. So just like it says post once you finish your journal, the first thing you do is you put your picture in there. And then there's one that says post a picture of your video of your finished journal. So when you do that, you post the link um, in that one. And the other one is putting the name of your photo album that you um, made so that we can find your what you've done. Okay. 
Now the other thing you're gonna do is there's gonna be two sets of posts. One set is going to be all the things you made and one's gonna be that list of ABCs of the things that we needed to use or, um, or do, okay? So the emboss, the distress, the zigzag, all those things um, are gonna be in another set of posts. So you take a picture of all those things and put them in those posts and that does two things. It lets me know that you made them. And it also shares with everybody else what you did. And so um, our challenge here is meant to be a way for you to get to know people, for you to share what you do, because we don't get a lot of chances of sharing what we do, especially with people that um, that get it, that um, are going to appreciate what we've done. And... Um, and to help each other get ideas, okay? So um, everyone that finish, finishes, like I said in the beginning, is going to get a prize, and that's a digital. And like the last month, they got this one. Um, it'll be in a special Facebook group that you'll have access to that you can go ahead and go in and pick up your digital from that group. There will also be a link um, to uh, eventually there will be a link to a special party we'll have a two-hour party where we play with that digital and we hang out and it's exclusive to only those that finished their journals finished them on time and posted them we call those our vips they also are the design team members for that digital so the vip that we just had we have uh, a design team and Regina has already posted some of the things that she made using the new butterfly garden kit she is a design team member for that kit and so um so there you go so it's another perk of finishing your journal sharing it with us and finishing it on time okay and um so I told you about posting um, oh my gosh, so important. If you have questions, there will be a questions post and it has uh, kitties on it and it's like light blue or light green. Um, it shows up different on both of my computers. So that's why I'm telling you sometimes it shows up green, sometimes it shows up blue. Um, but if you have a question, you post it in there and somebody will answer it. And if it's not me, uh, and somebody else answers your question, they probably know the answer. Several of our members here have done 20, 30, 40, 50, or even 65 <laughs> Dear Julie Julie challenges. They know what we're doing and they probably know the answer to your question. Okay. I want to make sure you know that all digitals are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop through Friday. So, um, yeah, so the next thing is you will have access to the group. It'll be in the description box here of the description box of the video. We'll also post it in the chat. Um, so if you're here at the premiere, I'm posting, we've posted it in the chat and you can go on over there and I'll let you in as soon as I, um, hear the, hear everybody knocking on the door. Um, and so again, I think it's pretty exciting. You can use everything and anything in your stash. It's a true stash buster. I do recommend that when you're going through and you're making the, the required items that maybe you make two, three, four, or ten, and you start building a little stash to help you to finish some of the journals that need just a little something else um, added to the pockets. Or um, maybe this is the challenge to try making more than one. Originally, I don't know if I told you this already, but this was going to be an assembly line um, journal challenge one of the things that we do um, it starts with a and but I decided uh, hearing so many that had journals that just weren't finished that we would do that so um, yeah so remember you can use a journal that you've started and maybe you haven't you didn't finish um, but there's there needs to be room for your items okay it needs to be room for you to be able to do your items so 
there you go. Uh, this will be finished by the time you see this video. That journal will be finished. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So happy April, everyone. Happy April Fools. And uh, have an amazing day. Okay? Find something to celebrate every day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I'll see you in the group. It's in the description box. It's in the chat. Bye-bye.